No, no, don't worry. About it. <laughs>
were ama- they were angels. The people mm. that came to our door and helped in the process, I, I considered them angels. And they were, my mom came in really in a bad state mm. where she was. And little by little, with the help of the physical therapist, with the help of any of the aides that came in, uh, people would come in like family and say, mom looks so much better. Mom is getting so much better. And it was with the grace of God, and it was with the grace of the people that cared about her, Mm. who the physical therapist knew my mom was not going to walk again, but that's not what he cared about. He gave her the love and attention that allowed her to feel like that she's impo- as important as she really was. And so um, so when I was reading, I thought, oh my gosh, this this person, your, you, Manish, <laughs> has an incredible message that we need to know about and to read. And it doesn't matter that you ever wrote a book before that or not, or this is not, it's about something so sacred that we have kind of exactly like I said as soon as I said those words it's like about the people we forgot about the people that's what we have has happened to us and that's hurtful for us and um, since now I shared my story that I would like for you to you know share why is this hurtful for our society that we would forget the very people that raised us and how can we have a better relationship and that how is that a, um, a benefit to us not only on an individual l- level and with r- our relationship with God but for society in general see we try to go to church mosque temple to worship God and in this book if you look at that chapter like the parent is pay rent so we are supposed to pay the rent in form of respect and love that's one pay the rent pay the I rent. love that <laughs> Pay yeah, the rent, have to pay right? <laughs> if we don't That's pay the rent, <laughs> then they throw us out of the house. I love that, yes. And if yes. we don't pay this rent, then we are thrown out of the house of our own spirit where we come into our own limited mind. That's why it's very important that uh, we can worship God. I have no problem with that. But God is everywhere, right? God is everything. So the source of our creation is our parent. How can we forget them? And if we forget them, and if we go to church and we can be the best of the best, first class lawyer and first class doctor, but then we become third class sons and husbands, what's the point of it? I mean, there is no point. It's like we are running on a treadmill and we don't reach anywhere. Running on a treadmill doesn't mean that we are cutting the distance. So are we really reaching somewhere? And that's why this is so important. Like, and if you like, look at the other chapter, the, the word senior is see near. You see them near to your heart. Hmm. It's a very simple word, but it has a meaning. Intimacy is into me, I see. So all the chapter of this book have all the words and they have a new meaning. It's like a gratitude is great attitude. There is a difference between goodness and greatness. Greatness is when, like good people are good, but greatness is when you walk extra mile. Are we willing to walk extra mile into a relationship? That is my favorite chapter relationship that I dedicated to Lucille one of my patients, and uh, she literally wanted to write her will on my name. (laughs) Literally. (laughs) And her blessings actually started her whole company. So one of the therapists that, uh, like, uh, that, you know, got trained, I don't want to say I trained it because it's a divine plan. Mm -hmm. So God has started this company. It's already running. You know, I I give this to, this is divine mother is the owner. That's how, that's what I feel now. But that time I didn't knew. And this therapist like called me one day and he said, brother, you're not going to believe, but I received a call from an attorney, one of my patients that we discharged from home care in Birmingham. She passed away after seven months of discharge, but she left her house in her will to my name, brother. He already had one house in Sterling Heights. This has never happened in this industry. But when you touch their heart, I mean, it's nothing. That's why this book, as I said, that I'm not, I felt I was not an author. But if it comes from heart, then it's going to touch. The reason it touched because you are operating at a different frequency. And I think it's all about the frequency match. And we, we need to be very careful that we shouldn't forget our parents, no matter how they are. No matter, they can, some people say, one time I went to a lab, take a small like presentation, it was an American house, and one lady asked me a question, that you're telling me to take care of my parents. What, what if they were not nice to me? And I said that that time you're going to su- think about Lord Jesus, what he said. Don't forgive them. Because forgiveness that you are supposed to do, because if somebody comes from China, they cannot speak Russian or English. 
so the way they were grown they acted that way but you can change that because your present moment can can create a new future so are we willing to change that's the important thing that what can we do because our kids are watching exactly what we are doing that's they can right. repeat it that's right and you know that was the other thing so um my kids at that time they were like wanting i remember a pet <laughs> uh-huh. and they said oh mom you know and every time we would go to partridge creek and they see all these dogs dressed up in these clothes and stuff and they wanted a pet and i remember that um when i was talking to god about and considering bringing my mom and i wasn't mm-hmm. telling people but it was in my thoughts and i thought you know we are all always more excited to bring in a pet or even when things regarding children we're more mm-hmm. sensitive to that but there was a pa- there has been i see a pattern with the elderly um and we need that wisdom even if in my mom's case she got to the point where she was rarely communicating but i learned so much from her silence wow and from taking care of her uh even from the things that she would say that i and you know she one thing she did do despite everything and and I really felt like she had more of a memory than she claimed to have um but she was in regular communion with God mm. she would bring up Jesus she would say she would call my name and she says we am all sometimes she would call me by a different name by her sister's name and then she says you know she would claim that Jesus appeared and she would look and she would keep calling me to to look wow. as well and I would look and I'm like okay mom and you know and I and I see the brightness in her face and I knew that her time was closer but you know what I learned so much from that she didn't have to sit there and talk to me about Jesus and about God but I saw a relationship happening that I I knew what she was saying even though I wasn't a part of it but mm-hmm. I feel like she was indirectly telling me that when my time comes don't be scared that mm. this is the way exactly so um I, I feel that there is a missing component here in the Western world, sometimes maybe with the elderly, whereas there is more of a focus towards the youth. And it could be an unconscious thing, you know, but there is more of a, a care and a more of a hype thing for youth. Uh, and again, I don't know if maybe it's unintentional, but there is a sacredness about taking our p- care of our parents and grandparents and the elderly it is. that is just... It's really a blessing in so many ways. Um, I would like to read this um, this part in your book. Very. Once I understood the true meaning of the word parent, I started thinking about the word senior. I knew for sure that God must have kept some secret in this word as well. I thought a lot about it, but I could not find a hidden secret in the word senior. During my monthly meeting with my staff of 24 physical therapists, I tried to teach them how to develop intimacy with patients. In my 10-year career as a physical therapist, I found intimacy is the best way to promote faster healing in patients. I honor you so much because um, not all of the physical therapists that came to my mom were very helpful, but the last one that remained the longest (laughs) because I always recommended him when I would... um, when I would call and he was an angel. So what I noticed is with some of the uh, physical therapists in the beginning, it was about like paper and pen. Just sign it. And marking, (laughs) just sign it, right? I literally, I I made one complaint. I hate complaining about people. I don't feel like it's a good karma, but I had to call about that woman because I really felt like my mom was used for that couple of minutes so that I can get a signature and she can get paid. And that was very hurtful. But, um, and it was about like, oh, she's not improving much. So it's like, is it worth it kind of attitude. Whereas the last one that was really an angel, he knew the value of putting, making my mom feel good where she's at and working Hmm. with her where she's at and at least maintaining her physical body where she's at, even if she wasn't going to ever walk again. Hmm. And so when I read that, I thought like, uh, so whoever, your staff is very lucky to have you and the people that they go to are very lucky. So can you just, you know, share about that, about people who are working with seniors? What do you teach and what is what is something that people can take away from, you know, dealing with seniors? Or, I, I yeah. tell them that uh, the word action is act, son. It's going to come in my future coming book, act, act son. 
So if we are trying to reach to perfection where we have to become perfect son, that's what Lord Jesus tried to teach us, right? Don't try to reach me. I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the light, I'm the life. So the spirituality can be practiced into work. So let work become the worship. You may not even have to go to church or temple, like, you know, if your work becomes the worship. Because we are separating this dimension that every Sunday I have to go there and practice this. But then we are trying to hide a lot of portions of our life where we are just, we don't realize what we are doing. So we need to become conscious of our consciousness and bring the conscient into the work. And then we can never go wrong. I mean, you know, like if I treat any patient as my own parent, how would I do wrong? Because nobody would do wrong to their own parents. So just that's what I teach even like, uh, it's not that I teach them, I'm blessed to have them because we all complete each other. And this is the secret thing that I tell them that guys don't think that you are going to help that patient. They become the patient where you are helping your own spirit because you are growing while treating them. Oh my gosh, that is so profound. And this is where like uh, everybody makes this mistake that we think that we go out and help because that builds our ego. And th when there is ego, there is no God. And when there is God, there is no ego. So we, it's like a white light touching a prism deflecting into seven color. So all these seven colors where we have divided ourselves. I am red, I am blue, I am this, I am that. So this is called mind. I have studied mind for last six years, spending 20 hours a week, how mind is formed. After this book, after I wrote this, somebody came looking for you, the way it touched you touched my mentor in India and he was waiting for me and I was speaking on a big stage in India and then he came and sat into an audience and then he has given me an order but after that whatever I learned this book is responsible for so this is a very important book that I feel so blessed that you know like I even became a reason to write this book because after that I met my mentor and he took me on a whole new journey and that's that will be the next book but this book is very close to me because the only intention was that I want to keep my friends alive. Like, I don't want him to go. And I think he's, I literally felt when I was writing this book as if his spirit is there with me in my car because I recorded this. I'm, I mean, I couldn't read like hardly two pages. So I, that's why I feel that this is a God's plan. I mean, I have nothing to do with it, but maybe that I feel fortunate if I became a reason that I became an instrument and then God started playing it. And that's why it touched you because you are also trying to do the same thing. So bring, bringing this thought into the action where action is act son. And that action can take us to perfection where we become perfect son, where our own spirit and our own mind, which, which is called matter, mind, brain, and body, they all vibrate at the same frequency. If resistance is zero, conduction is 100%. And then we can express light through our work. And that's what I would recommend. Oh. Wow, that was so beautifully said. And uh, I love the part where you said, we're not, it's not a matter of us helping them. We are helping our spirit because during the time that I was taking care of my mom, because I made an agreement with God mm -hmm. and that uh, um, God said that he would help me. And um, honestly, there were situations where, like in, in lifting her, and there were situations that were dangerous that I thought like, oh my gosh, something is gonna happen. And mm -hmm. I would literally feel this energy that would like just save the situation or like the right person would come at wow. a certain time. And then I thought, well, God keeps his promise as long as we, um, so when people would, um, we have a saying in Chaldean, um, you know, it, people would say to me, ajal, which is like an Aramaic and, and I, I would say, thank you. I know it was a good thing. Like, they're <laughs> blessing me. But finally, one time I asked somebody, I said, can you tell me the exact translation? I knew the gist of what it meant, but I would, didn't know exactly how to interpret it. And they said, oh, well, it means that you have good points in heaven huh. for this work. And I said, oh, and my mom was always like sending prayers and blessing as, as I was doing this. And I thought, you know, um, whatever they would say, I would not feel like was able to take much credit because I felt like that there was something that God was already doing anyways to help mm. out. But I was also feeling that um, it was strengthening me. It was such a gift in ways that I could not share with people. Mm. And I still, maybe one day if I'll write about it, I'm sure I will and somehow, but even if I write about it, it's not to give myself credit, but to show people how much beneficial this could be for your life. Kind of similar 
to you what you're doing. Write. I would recommend you write because mm. uh, your experience can become inspiration to somebody. Inspire nation. The meaning of inspiration is inspire nation. And motivation is motive action. So people can, if they can get motivation out of your life or work, that's why it should be documented or shared, not for ego part. And right. that we are not doing for that purpose. So if as long as the intent is clear, it's called power of intention, mm -hmm. then God himself works. He opens up the channels. Because it's not our responsibility. See, we have never understood even the God energy until my mentor explained me that God is truth consciousness in totality. It's a pure energy field, the purest energy which we call Holy Spirit, right? So that Holy Spirit filled up sev seven billion buckets. But we, as a mind, which is the bucket, became egoistic. So we were supposed to jump into an ocean where we become one because we are already one. We are like a fish. That energy is the ocean. We are like a bird. That energy is the air. So we are already connected, but we became ignorant of that connectivity. So because we build up ego, I am Baptist, I am Hindu, I am Muslim, I am this, I am that, I am atheist. So it's like a white light touching a prism deflecting seven color. We are lost into relativity. So when there is reality, there is no relativity. When there is relativity, there is no reality. So we were supposed to jump into an ocean diluting the bucket. And we successfully failed. <laughs> successfully <laughs> failed. And that's why we are right now this chaos that go, it is going on because of that reason. There is nothing else. And all this that we have misunderstood that love, uh, it's connected with the senses. It's not love. It's just a skin layer that has become that everybody calls it love. If you rip off two people's skin layers, there is no love left. So that spiritual love that is supposed to happen, that can only happen when we connect within. When you took care of your mom, you found that connection. So it's like a sugar you tested. You can't explain it, but you should try to. So some people can be motivated to take that action. And then once they are doing it, then only they'll know what it is. It's like a God is like a sugar. We can't explain it that it's sweet. We can write 37 trillion pages, but nobody knows what is God unless we put one droplet in the mouth. So to experience that droplet rather than going, I'm not saying don't, don't go to church or temple or mosque, but if you don't have a time to call your own parents, if you don't have a time to heal your own relationship, because relationship meaning is you ship your love and emotion into each other. Otherwise, it's a material ship. That's my one of the favorite sentence that is written in this book. There is a chapter called relationship. So something that you ship, but if the relationship is where you ship your love and emotion into each other, it's a two-way communication. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's a material ship, and material ship will always sink. Any relations that are connected with material ship, they always sink. They can't sail through the life. And that's why sometimes we have broken relationship, because they were never meant to be spiritual. Spirituality is something that spiritual, spirit ritual, that is spiritual. Mm -hmm. But we have never decoded that. Mm. And what is the ritual of spirit? Spirit is bliss, happiness, connectivity, light. So if we connect within and, and ignite that light within, we will not lose them for delight outside. And that's what we have to teach our kids, that connect within. But this ego has built up into the rel religions where ego is, is created most of the mass. And that's why I think we need to really get connected within. And if somebody asks me like that this book, like... Uh, how it can help. It's not that it has helped me because I'm still learning from it. I'm not going to say that I have mastered it, but I'm still learning for it because recently, like my father, I almost like practically, he left his body. I mean, I, I received a message that uh, he was I, admitted in an ICU and uh, I had to leave in few hours notice because he had 68% carbon dioxide retention, 800 WBC count. So that day, actually the the way the consequences or the, con I mean, I would say the circumstances happened, the time came where I had to leave this book. And I called my wife, I said, honey, I am going, my dad. I mean, he's, I think he's done with 68% carbon dioxide retention, 1800 WBC count. There is no way that he can survive this because I know uh, more about medical science than most of the people can handle. Mm. So ignorance is blessing, but that time I knew what is the outcome and I mm. literally took a flight. I mean, we drove six and a half hour, me and my wife, Ripple, and uh, then we left kids to my in-laws and then I went to ICU. That day, I saw my father, like literally, like he was gone, like and my mentor came, he touched him and I have seen him coming back. 
so this book because of him i found my mentor and my mentor when he came into the icu i experienced something that must have happened 2500 years ago that people are talking and my father told me manish i left my body i was out <laughs> and then he even wrote a book in indian language which eventually i'll translate that convert that into english so the world can know because my mentor is living at a zero resistance so res when resistance is zero conduction is 100% god's energy is working through all of us but our ego is standing and my mentor has removed that ego that's why oh my god so many people experiences that bliss so second childhood has brought me to my mentor mother's energy and that energy is blessing so many people right now i mean as you said that's how we met through that group and wow i you know really this is just such a blessing um having you here and also the not only with the book that you wrote but i always so look forward to the future books that you write i mean it sounds like um by the way for anybody that wants to uh purchase this book it's available on amazon um but I'm so looking forward to your future books and uh during which time I will have you back here. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Um so that you can share because as you were speaking I'm like you should keep that recorder on all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it'll make your life a lot easier and it'll help you regularly produce material that um my view is that we can either complain about what's out what's not out there that we feel or how we feel the world should look or how it is or whatever but people like yourself they are out there um creating all this material this rich material the spiritual material that's life changing that's transformational um and you do a lot more i mean the book that's one thing but obviously as a ph physical therapist and as taking care of your staff and you do a lot of other things that i'm aware of <laughs> <laughs> um that one day you know if you can share if you want to but um so it's just your whole life is about that so you are not uh seg you know you're not in different segments about what you're doing mm -hmm. you're not fragmented you your whole life is about spirituality and helping others and getting the message across um so we are like almost literally out of time i want to thank you so much for coming here we have like a minute left if you can just just one last word that if you want people to walk away with just some words of wisdom how they can make a difference in their life today rather than looking for that heaven this is the heaven so change your present moment because present is present and present moment can create a new future so love all serve all help ever and hurt never god bless oh. you all god bless you that was beautiful thank you so much thank you very much for coming thank you thank you